Hello, this is Samantha Day and welcome to SD Lessons. Today, my subject is Mathematics and the topic is Arithmetic Progression. So, let's start. Now, what is Arithmetic Progression? Let's understand this with a very simple example. I have taken a series of numbers. Let's closely observe these numbers. 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 and stop there. Don't continue after that. If you observe, you'll find it's increasing. It can decrease also. In this case, the numbers are increasing. And they are increasing by a constant number. What is that number? 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. 15 plus 4, 19. That means it's increasing by a common difference of 4. In this way, if we keep on increasing by 4, then whatever the term we come to, this is the first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever the term, maybe 100, maybe 200, maybe 1000, whatever the term, using a very simple formula, we can get its value. So to get the formula and to solve it, let's understand few things. Number one, A. What is this A? This first term is usually denoted as A or A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, AN. But in this case, mainly in the CBSC books or ICC books till class 10, they write it the last term as L. So let's follow that only. L. L means the last term. A means the first term. And the difference between the numbers, the common difference, that is denoted as D. So how do you get D? 11 minus 7, 4. D is 4 here. 19 minus 15, D is 4 here. 7 minus 3, D is 4. Common difference is 4. That means a number subtracted by the preceding number, we get common difference. Now, how do we get this one, nth term, if you know 101st one, suppose n is 101, then how will you get this? There is no need to keep on writing and adding 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. It will take a long time. If you keep on adding, say the first one is 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 3 plus 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, and so on. It will take a long time. Instead of doing like that, what we can do is, we can use this formula. What is that? N term, that means this one which we are trying to find out. In this case, with the example, I will do 101st term. First term A n minus 1 here in this case n is 101 in this example I have taken 101 we will make it 1 less minus 1 and the whole thing multiplied by d n minus 1 into common difference so let's see what will be this answer here a is how much 3 here a is 3 the first term how much is that 3 what this one is the 101 if you keep on counting it is 101 101st term so I have taken 101 minus 1 that 1 is always minus 1 means the preceding one so minus 1 always minus 1 multiplied by 4 why because common difference is common difference is 4 now if I solve 101 minus 1 is 100 100 into 4 is 400 plus this 3 is 403. 
So if I keep on writing this plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And when we come to the 101st term, we will get it 403. So what is the formula? Remember the formula. Tn, nth term, nth term is equal to A, first term, plus n minus 1. N means the number, that number which we are trying to find out, minus 1, multiplied by the common difference. Is that okay? Now, this common difference can become minus also. In When do we get minus? When the number, instead of increasing as in this example, it keeps on decreasing. It can decrease also and then go to minus. Then the common difference, this D, this one will may come negative that we will see in our next video you don't need to confuse yourself at the moment first the basics let's go to another thing what is that if we add all this how much will get if you add if you keep on adding 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 up to here i have done it here s means the sum how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5. I am rubbing it. It should be 5 there. It should be written 5 here. So this is 5. So if you look at these 5 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's add quickly. 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 11, 21. 21 plus 15 is 36 plus 19 is 55 but that is a tedious job that way we cannot do if the series is pretty long instead of doing that we can use one technique a formula to get that so let's see how do we do it sn n terms let it be 100 thousand whatever n terms if you know the number Suppose if it is, in this case it is 5, I have written 5 here, n by 2, total number of term, terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so n is 5, 5 by 2. Within bracket, first term plus the last term, here the first term is 3, the last term is 19, you add 3 plus 19, that is 22. Let's see. So 5 by n by 2 is 5 by 2, a is 3, l is 19, 3 plus 19, 22, cancel it 11, 11 fives are 55. And if you add, keep on adding this, how much do you get? 55. With the formula what you do, first term plus the last term multiplied by n by 2, you get it. You can get it in another way also. Suppose if you don't know the last term, then in that case, what do you do? If you don't know the last term, here instead of L, last term itself means this one. We have seen already this here. Nth term, that is the last term here. So instead of writing L, we can write again that one. A plus N minus 1 into D. That means this one I have written here. A plus A is... 2a. So what do we get this formula? n by 2, 2a, n minus 1 into d. Let's see whether it is correct or not. It has to come 55 if you add all this. So what is a here? 3, I put 3. What is n here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I put 5 here. What is n? 5 here. What is common difference? 4 here. Let's solve. It should come 55. 5 minus 1, that is 4, 4, 4 is so 16, it has come 16, and this has come 6, 16 plus 6, 22, 2 cancels in 22, 11, 5, 11 is so 55. That means we can either make use of this when we know the last term, or can make use of this formula if we don't know the last term. So this way, the sum of the terms, we can find out. And with this formula, we can find out the nth term. There will be a lot of complicated sums which I will definitely 
explain you in my following videos only the concept i have given you the concept and i'll repeat it once just once because i have given you only three formula and what is that to make it clear what is that a sequence and the sequence what we are trying to do that trying to find out what will be the nth term in that sequence with the help of a formula that is this what we have done the first term is a the last term is here n is the number of terms d is the common difference 7 minus 3 4 here you solve it you get the nth term as 403 in this case in this example i have taken here n as 101 so that means the 101st term what will be the answer this will be the answer and in the next case what i have done is trying to show you if it is added now it is tedious to keep on adding and adding and adding a long addition is not what is required here for a senior student in a school so need to do in a systematic manner and arithmetic progression in that we have learned this so sum of the terms this is the formula n divided by 2 n means the number of terms here it is 5 here it is 5 in some cases in this example it will be 101 but in this example I have taken it 5 what about the first term 3 what about the last term 19 solve it you get 55 and there is another the third formula is instead of L I have written A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D so that simplified you get this put the values you get 55 we'll see the other sums with these formula only it will be twist and turn and riddles will be given to you just to puzzle you but it is very very interesting and simple just keep it in head this very simple thing more in my next following lessons keep following but before that you need to subscribe you need to comment you need to tell me exactly what you want what are your means queries where you are getting stuck where you are not getting it clearly let me know so that i can also change my way of teaching and it really helps you thank you and goodbye